what if you were a 30 year old married man still collecting allowance from your mommy and daddy what's your big age What is up, YouTube? It's your favorite girl, Baby Girl Toast, aka Toast and Back with it with another one. Another banger. Banger. And this time, not just a banger video, but we have a new banging series. You know, I always come up clutch with the fire content. So, this is going to be one of the episodes of my new series called At Your Big Age, where I talk about prevailing issues or things I'm passionate about with my friends and a couple of guests. And we have a light conversation about it. Yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of fun, it's gonna be a lot of battle, a lot of interesting conversations. And and to get this YouTube series trending, make sure you are hashtagging at your big age on the TL so everyone gets a chance to watch it for themselves. So before I get started, I hope you guys are actually subscribed to the channel because you can't be watching this content for free without no subscription. Like that doesn't make no sense. Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about BGT today. Let me introduce a couple of the cast members. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is good? I go by no Shino, aka Playboy Shino, Playboy with an I, not a Y, you know the vibe. Hey guys, it's Yasna Lida, Yasna Liam. You know I'm gonna be spit backs, no cap. And that's on that. What's up, y'all? This is Lado here. You already know what it is. Back on Tosin's channel again. Let's go. What's up everyone, my name is Top Wire Dinoga, Renewable Energy Engineer, Fitness Instructor, Personal Trainer on the Baby Girl Tussin Show, let's get it. I'm back! Guys, look who's here, it's me, it's me. Finest Mocha back again representing the BGT gang. I don't know what we're gonna be doing today, but I guess we're gonna find out. Now that you met some of the cast members, let's get straight into the video. So do you guys believe it is okay to shame people for struggling or hustling, quote unquote out? Um, no. No. Mind your business. You're in my business. It's not your business, like... Don't do that. Okay, but what if you were a 30-year-old married man still collecting allowance from your mommy and daddy? Okay, that's not it. That was a red flag. I mean... I don't know about that. <laughs> 30 is too damn old. Like, right, it's somehow, but it's not your business. Like, if you're a Nepo baby, why not? Why you not go tapping? If my daddy was Bill Gates, it's a different story. It doesn't make sense. Prince has been sponsoring his lifestyle till he even gets married. Trust fund baby, why not? No, but I, I want to know the situation. Like, does he need the money or is like his parents just up that they have to give him money? Like, he's never had enough money. So he's still struggling. But he still needs allowance for upkeep. Ah. That just sounds like a lazy person because how are your parents helping you so much and you're still struggling? Married. And you're married, like, no. You can't get begin. So you feel like there is an age limit to collecting money from your parents while you're chasing your dreams? Yeah. Is your dream not your parents' dream? Sometimes your parents have money, but I don't think they go to use their retirement money for your dream now that's like uh-uh you shouldn't expect them to color that okay, it's not all dreams that take off yeah it's not ideal i feel like you can't be 35 saying you want to chase your dreams like nah the thing is it's a dream so when are you gonna wake up i know what you say when are you going to wake up really you can still chase something but be working towards other things you still have your night to fire we're trying to be multifaceted out here. We're trying to have multiple streams of income. So while you're pursuing that dream, you can still be making things shake for your life. Like there's no excuse at 30. If you're still collecting money for your friends, you can't be dissing your parents and say they don't support my dream. They are funding your life. They are funding your lifestyle right now. The thing is, how do you feel okay? You're comfortable. How do you feel comfortable doing that? Some people don't say, let's go sign it. What's their business? I feel like if you're that okay then that's the problem have you met trust fund babies there's nothing wrong with being a trust fund baby though. no there's no there's nothing wrong with this my kids are gonna be trust fund babies guys guys explain to the viewers what a trust fund baby is so i guess like your family like left generational wealth for you and you know you're coming to it by like you're born and you have your vibe do you feel like the struggles of making money is amplified because of social media it is like i feel like i've seen a lot of 21 year olds billionaires millionaires so it's like everybody wants to make money now and peak now but like what if you peak now and then at 30 you're jobless Stop. choose to be inspired don't compare Bro, know where you are know your own situation yeah that's the problem a lot of people compare themselves just shoot all that from your brain rather than like envious and stuff and like finding ways to 
Why you guys do? Why you, why you guys? What's that? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll slap this baby. We're having a conversation now. Uh, serious discussion. Like, when I drink serious conversation, now everyone is like, how can you guys talk? Tosi, it's a serious conversation that has to inspire the youth. Do you understand? And the conversation is kind of deep. It's kind of deep, you know. You get it, it's, it's, it's some serious shit. Yeah, but serious, but not even you don't vibe. Yeah, why do you say she come and do raw, 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 like that? Uh-uh. Tosi, are you will create your room to vibe? To vibe. Don't mind that. Okay, let's act, let me ask. Let me like on the mood now. This is a topic that I feel for say like it is a thing. I feel like in this generation, men are basing their personality on their money. Like their sole personality is just money. Bro, like yeah, the crypto bros. <laughs> the crypto bros. <laughs> if you take away the money, they don't have any character, nothing, no emotional intelligence, nothing. This <laughs> And I want to understand why is that? We may like money, so we definitely perpetuate that stance. Don't you think it's problematic? It definitely is. It definitely is. For you to base your personality on just making money. Like if you take Okay, it's not problematic. It's not problematic because if that's what you're showing me, you can't get mad that girls are using you for your brand. Period. Nah, facts. Exactly. You have a point. If that's what you're showing me, oh you're this big guy, money, money, money. You can't get mad that girls are gonna start using you for your money. Like Drop you like Sandy. <laughs> But I mean, clearly you're showing that that's all you have to offer, you know what I mean? All this money is, money is everything, bros. Y'all need to stop, bro. Does money buy happiness? My answer is yes. Oh my yes. Like a boss, what? Yes, yes. I would rather cry in my Bentley and stick my ass on a yacht <laughs> in Dubai. No, I actually disagree with that. Oh, I don't disagree shit. Toast is in La La Land. Don't listen to her. Yasmin, thank you. Being on it. I'm on each other, so no, don't let anybody tell you anything. Okay. I'd rather be. Oh, I want this sad for like some kind of talks and kekos. I did sad in Zanzibar. I didn't see white sad. I was there depressed. <laughs> but how if you're sad, you can't enjoy the money because they're sad. Sad and loaded. I did. I did. Can't be. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> No time. You're sad, you have problems, go to a private island. Go to Fiji, go to Hawaii. Go in a villa for a week. Your problems are solved. Yeah, enjoy my life, um. <laughs> Yeah, what? You get... <laughs> Where the problem? Bring the problem, Joe. Money stops nonsense, I'm good. Money does stop nonsense, but also, the goal is to be comfortable, to be very comfortable and to be content and joyful because there's nothing more peaceful than being joyful. Chasing happiness sometimes leads you to darkness because you're never going to be satisfied. Per. Um, yeah, so this is another topic. This is for the lady. I've noticed on the TL that a lot of people are not willing to build with partners anymore. We only have people wanting established at like 25. Baba, 25 is even a stretch, bro. Like 21. <laughs> She not kill you. No guy, like I know babes, like bro, at the same age, like I see the university. You want Chanel bag, bro? <laughs> they don't build shit up. No. Why? I'm a student. But ladies, let's talk about it. Why? Why do you feel like some people are like that? I feel like it's social media. That's why. Like girls are seeing these guys like it's Valentine's Day. Had a bag, breaking bag. Did they buy Rolly? Bust down chain, like, and the girls want the same thing. It's obviously not realistic, but that's what they see. But you know what I've noticed is maybe like even when like sponsoring, like, cause a lot of people talk about how like people are not looking for boyfriends, they're looking for their daddies, another type of daddy to sponsor their lifestyle. This life no balance. I mean, I want sponsor. Everybody they find sponsor. Sponsor me by subscribing because I know some of you have coconut head. Okay, back to the video. Shorties. Me and Steph, I need sponsor as I did so. As is. It's difficult to find someone that has like everything you want, like any man has money, can take care of you, all that. So you have to multitask, Abby, Cynthia. But I, you're actually crazy. No. That's an idea. No, 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 no. <laughs> best thing, please. No, you know what I was going to say though? For me, it's, I've always had this rule of thumb where it's like, what I don't have, I shouldn't expect the guy to have. 
but then as you grow up like sometimes it's just you just want that little bit more because for me i like to be more like submissive like calm but only if there's somebody that can take care of me type thing because with because with this growing stuff with this growing stuff you'll hold the guy the guy down you know he's broke whatever whatever now he's up you think he's staying with you he's up. Yeah. That's a good question. He's going to the girl that's on his level. I'm not holding no guy that has nothing for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. Yes, me. Say no time. <laughs> but no, real question. Why is it that you guys can't stay with the girl that held you down? Yes. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. You're the truth. You're the truth. Hello. I she afford Rihanna. Ah, I go go miss Rihanna now. You didn't want. Yeah, so well. <laughs> The Michelle that you had, you didn't want her now, you want Rihanna. Go punish Michelle, Baba. Sorry, when I see money, like, money. You, the women you are around is different, you know what I'm saying? You go enter some kind of spaces and places. Thank you, your eye go open. No, but it's wrong. If a girl should do this, uh, if the roles were reversed, you call her a gold digger. Am I lying? Exactly. A lot of niggas do that shit out here. That's what I'm saying. So don't hold these guys down. I'm telling you, don't hold them down. I feel that. Do to your limit. Don't overdo. Don't overdo for a man. That's the point. Don't do enough. If it gives you each, do a millimeter. <laughs> the question I have for you guys is like, what would you do if in your twenties you don't peak? You keep going. Keep going, man. There's every everyone's time is different. You keep going. Let's be honest, will it not pain you that you're not like? Of course no. Oh yeah, definitely not. Nah, you feel the type of way. And those feelings are very normal, not gonna lie. It's like, what else can you do? Like, sit down and be sad or like, that's motivation? Like, life isn't rushing you. Yeah. I just try not to think about it, honestly. I was reading this thing, Taraji Henson. She didn't get her first rose, like, until she was like 39, 40. Exactly. Look at where she is now, like. Who cares? Even in non-conventional stuff, like people like Kanye West, Kanye was like 30 when he made like Jesus Walks and shit like that. Even like in Nigeria too, I feel like there's just that pressure like from life in general. There's pressure. Yeah. Nigeria, finish school, get a job, marry, I have two drink. It's like... I noticed that a lot of people are not married because they want to marry. They're married because... It's, it's time to marry, that kind of thing. Exactly, like, it's we are married. It's time, it's time. Is, is it crazy that I still want to get married before 30? It's just... No, it's not a bad thing, no. That one is fine, before 30 is fine. I'm still young though, so... <laughs> Nigeria is saying marry 25. Some of the things they embed in your head. 25, you should have married, I die. When your, when your friends are doing a big party, big wedding, you like, you're now sitting there, you are struggling. You, sometimes you can't believe it. Even your parents, your parents are going to insult you, honorary bridesmaids. Exactly! You're the bridesmaid for all your friends. Honorary bridesmaids. Here you go. And all those aunties, I raised someone else. Ah, you know, you don't go marry. You're like, what you marry? When will you marry? When will you marry? Will it be this year? Will you be single forever? Jesus! You're getting on, oh. You know, you're not those guys, I hate So do you guys think people miss their youth because of the chase of finances? Yeah, people do. Instead of pacing themselves every, like, every year so that they can actually get it eventually instead of now. The people are in a rush. There's always a now, never a tomorrow. It's good to have a now, though. It's good to have, like, a daily goal. And then it's good to have, like, a weekly goal. Yeah, exactly. And it's also good to have, like, realistic goals. Oh, yeah, you have to understand like the grand scheme, the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Don't don't rush your youth. Like still enjoy. Like sometimes when people are like, oh, don't go out. I must still go out. Travel. Like do you get travel for sure? Like traveling is really really good. Like when you travel, you just always have memories and experiences. You don't get time back. You can always make money, but you can't make time. Find a balance, bro. Balance is more important. Bro, fudge. You're still young. Life will pass you by. Like, next thing, you're 45, bro. You're 50. There will be a time where you can't even do this, even if you have the money there. Bro, if you don't live in the moment, like, what are you doing? Life is now, like, in the moment. Simple. Bro. Like, did you guys see how I'm missing Yelia? She said she's only been on two vacations in her whole life. 
Can you imagine? And we're all live. Two vacations. Two vacations. Missy Elliot. Like. I don't even vacation pass up. I can't lie. That thing of like you're making money but you can't enjoy it. What's the point? What's the point? Bro, if you die from chasing money, like the money's not coming with you. I'm saying, bro, you know you have a lash mother. Small money, ball out. Ball out. Ball out. Who's them boss? Go now. You get the shock lights, you lock them. No, for real, but for well, like, the message of this is that it's okay to pace yourself, don't rush, enjoy the moment, live in the moment. If you are following a dream, believe in your dream, don't let society rush you and stay blessed. Alright guys, that is the end of this episode. I hope you guys actually enjoyed it and if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys get this video too. Let's get this video to 4,000 likes if you guys actually enjoyed this episode. It was really fun making it. Shout out to the cast for coming on the show. And also, let's get this trending by using the hashtag, hashtag at your big age and let's talk about it and continue the conversation on the TL. Alright guys, I'm going to be signing out by saying go crazy, go stupid and I'll see you guys back in some new content or on the next episode of At Your Big Age. Bye! Like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Charge your devices. Charge your devices. Don't mind. Charge your devices. I know, you know, like, Yasmin's very Toronto. Like, she's very Toronto. Okay, I'm going to be pilot of all oh, pilots. Hey, no bagel. I guess you got to find out. See, yeah, see, I don't get coffee there. You know, you tell me. Oh my god, we need to kiss Yasmin and Nigerian slack. This is the kind of thing. Um, you they bleed? What is it? Who they bleed? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean though? I don't know. Like, it's like oh I'm stepping on your necks, like I'm applying pressure. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Everybody fuck up. <laughs> <laughs>